Welcome in Dole, a little city famous thanks to her historical patrimony. Here you can visit the Collegial Church, the Samaritan's Park, the famous Gravy Clay. You can walk along the Tanner's Waterway, swim at the bath, discover the Pastor's House, and also visit the Dole Art Museum. But in a building at the center of the city happened something dark and strange. In 1752, a doctor called Mr. Bloom decided to build an asylum next to the Tanner Waterway. The place started with a big success, but it turned quickly in a torture building. To treat his patients, the doctor persecuted them, and for the most instance, they were expected in an abandoned castle, the Charnogil's mansion. Since 1802, Charnogil's mansion is closed. Today, we will try to find what really happened inside and why a legend speaks about a haunted castle. Let's visit the first floor. In the left corridor, we can see three statues used many times crying blood. Some witnesses said that when the statues were crying, they could see blood stains everywhere, on the walls, the door, the ground, and on the windows. Sometimes there are puddles of blood on the ground. In this corridor, we could hear sounds of footsteps on the ceiling, but the most strange is that there was anybody at the second floor. It is probably some lost souls which wandered in the room of the second cell. If you go at this second floor, nobody can miss the several strange sounds. You can hear cries of people in distress, the laughter of madmen, and the children cry. It's probably echoes of time which remain prisoners in rooms of the castle. We can also see a rocky shape of a door in the wall of the right corridor. But there is no door. To which did it serve? Maybe for suicidal people who throw themselves from this door? That's why, where the door is set, we can feel a stream of air. It comes from a mansion door. At the third floor, there are a lot of statues between each door which seems to move. In fact, when you walk next to them, if you turn your back just one second, they advance. Don't stop looking them. Sometimes they turn off the light and the kill. The statues are keeping a secret which is still alive. And at the fourth floor, you have no moonlight like the other floor. You're in the dark. Each here you can see a lot of ghosts. In each corridor you see a person. Sometimes 
It's a girl, a madman, or an old man, carry children, or tired wife. But all these persons are ghosts. So if one day you walk on the Charnogis Mansion Street and you see a face at the window, it's probably a people who died in the castle. Or maybe Mr. Gloom.